Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. And in this demo, we are going to see how we can do stream analytics with Azure Databricks, Event Hub and Delta Lake. In this demo, our data generator app is going to generate uh, some data and push into Event Hub at a real-time basis. Then Azure Databricks will connect to Event Hub pull the real-time data and to keep saving into Delta Lake while we can do some filtering and transformation of the data. So let's see how this works end to end. So for this demo, we are into Azure portal and insights resource group where we have one event hub namespaces and event hub configured and how to create event hub and namespaces you can see into one of the video we have posted with details so we have this telco generator application where we have provided all of the connection strings and it is going to generate the call record data and it is going to send the call details based on uh, 200 2000 2000 record we have configured right now for call details and probability of fraud is 40% and number of hours is 2 and depending upon it is going to generate some call records and it is going to send. So let me run this group. Now it is trying to generate calls. Now let's go to our portal. Now we should be able to see in some time this uh, details here. Now we, if we go into our ADB, uh, we have a cluster and it is started and running and how to create ADB and cluster, you can go ahead and see one of video we have done for that one also. So I will put the link for more details. Now let's go and see how we can connect our event hub because our event is coming to event hub and how we can read into Azure Databricks. So for this purpose, we are going to use our one library and we can go into workspace and we can say that create library and in library section, we can search the package also depending upon how we need that one or if we know that we can go directly and put into details from here. And also we can go to moment repository and we can find that what is the details. So I, I know that this is the details. That is why I'm putting that library here. So this is the right path. Let me click on create. And this we can go and see the here that all the details we can see artifact path and other details. We can go ahead and see and let me go back here it says that now we have to install on that cluster and let me select this where to install let me install that and install click on the install now it is installing it is saying that library installation has been attempted to driver node but it has not finished yet so it is impending we have to wait so it now it says that it is uh, installed. So let's go ahead now and I can go ahead and create a new notebook to see if this working or not. Let me select Scala as a default language and I will put event hub paste and let's go to our notebook. The very first thing that we are going to import our event hub libraries and other details. So let's run the sale. So now we can go ahead and see that our application is which type of data is being sent. So if we go in this application of call details, so we can see that uh, we are sending the records with this data, right? Record type, system identity, file name, and other things. So we need to read this data. And when we are sending this data, so we are sending this up in .NET, we have CDR records as a class, which has different fields, different fields with the string variables and other things, uh, with these names and other things. And when we are sending, we are serializing with that uh, event and we are sending. So in event hub, this data is going as a JSON and when we will read this data, it is going to come as a JSON. Then we have to impose our schema over there. So that is this task right now. We are defining that, okay, in this, uh, when we will read this one, uh, there will be the record type as a string, system identity, file name, a number, 
switch number, uh, calling number, calling IMSI, and other details will be there. So let's create this struct type into our uh, ADB. Now I'm going to put more code to connect to event hub now. So in the next cell, we can go ahead and write this. This is our connection history from this demo where we are passing that. If we go into our code, which is sending to us, this is the event hub we are sending and this is the event hub name so this is the same thing which we are going to listen so this is connection string and then we are con uh, creating the configurations and other things and then we are going to read spark dot read stream format this is that place it is going to come right the format is event hubs and then option is whatever configuration we are passing with this connection string and other things so let's run this command now as this command has run and now we are going to parse that whatever data is coming as a JSON, we can go ahead and try to parse that one the JSON data. If you want to see that one, what is happening with her now uh, with this stream, then we can go ahead and we can say that uh, one command, let's see that is, so we can run this and it says that, okay, it is streaming equals to true. So we can go and we can also try to see, let's see that if I say that, so right, one of the command we can say. So it says that we have to write first somewhere into write stream dot start and then we can do. So now what we are going to, I'm going to do that if I write that one, I know that this is string data is coming into that one in the JSON. So I'm just exploding that one and creating a data set with all that columns details, whatever is coming into body. So if we want to see more details on that part, that how it is going to come uh, event hub. So let's see that. So uh, we can go more details to see how it is structured. So if you go into see the data will come like body, partition, offset, sequence number, in QA and publisher, partition key and other details. And we can see that also. Let's let me do that only. So I'm going to I'm not going to run this one. So before that, let me run the another things. Now we have the in data and we are not able to show that that one. Let's right now start try to write in somewhere and then see what is happening. So I am going to write this with Delta Lake. So I'm going to say that, hey, my event hub streams, whatever stream I am write, reading, is going to write as a Delta one and checkpoint location, this is the table path which we have and checkpoint and other things is going to come. So let's run this one so right now stream initialization is happening now this stream is running so now this stream is being done now let's create a delta table based on this path and then see what kind of data is going right so i'm going to create a table which is delta type and location is this path location which we have given so let me run this command and now if I go ahead and try to run some query, then I should be able to see what data is coming, right? So now if you see body is coming, partition, offset, sequence number, in queue time, all this, whatever mentioned on that, the, our data bricks documentation is coming right now. And uh, this, all the details is coming. But if you see this one, uh, we do not have this kind of use, right? We are not able to see what actual data is being sent by this application, right? This is the application is sending. So now let's uh, see a little bit more uh, massaging on this data frame, and then we can save that how it is look like, right? So let me go ahead and try to delete this path and tables. So delete this path so that we will create one more time. Right now deleted and hence we ran the delete query, stop this function. So now I am going to do massaging also. Let's now only from before this one, let's change little bit. Now uh, from event hub stream from where we are reading, we are just selecting column as a body and exploding that as in data and then we are putting into df. So that we are doing. Now let's try to write this one into our delta lake right 
now once again stream slice is ha now let's go ahead and create one more time that table on that location so right now it says the table is already exist so let we can delete or we can go ahead and do that uh, read that anyway so i'm going to delete that one uh, so that we should be very sure okay now i'm going to recreate this table on that location and now again i am going to uh, select query on that now if i see i have little bit proper data but it is still it is into data because we have said that it, it is in data section uh, right now we have said as a data and it is going as a json but we want is a tabular view right proper tabular view so let me stop this uh, streaming session and let's do a little bit more thing over there in the next one we are going to select from json and using this column whatever data column is coming and we are imposing our schema which we created here with the help of a struct and then we are saying that we not select everything into json data whatever is coming here in df1 so let me run this command and in df now i am going to start the df to write that stream in delta stream in slice is happening and uh, because the schema mismatch detected previously we were writing in different so let me delete this uh, path and i am also going to drop that table now once again i am going to start this stream so when a stream slicing is happening and it is running we can see a little bit more details over here now if we see that it is right now streaming so we can see that how input and processing rates are there uh, how many records per second is coming and how many records are being processed per second and depending upon we can scale our clusters and other things we can see also uh, that how that uh, our schema looks like when it is reading and how it is reading and then anyway we are parsing and then we are storing all these details so this is how it looks like we can go and see more details in the time being so now it is happening let me create uh, one more time table on that given location now let's read that table with select query now we can see this proper record is coming record type system call number calling msi and other details are coming so this is what i wanted to show you and we can see that with the count also uh, that how much it is going to increase every time so let's see that so right now it is 174 so right now now became 268 so it is reading and writing on the delta lake path whatever path we have given so that's how the data is coming if uh, we write that uh, click uh, now 323 so this is how streaming is coming it is continuously reading that from stream whatever stream is coming from event hub and it is writing into delta lake with this help of checkpoint and table path and then it is uh, from we have created our delta lake table on that one and it is we are able to see that so it is great use of delta lake also uh, now you see that how it streaming data is being supported uh, in this delta lake formats i hope you will now that understand that how to read stream from data bricks also and how we can save in delta lake and how we can create and how we can do multiple operations right let's see that a little bit more operation using this thing right if i want to see that similar in uh, thing uh, if uh, let's put that filter query and other things if i have to do a little bit more select in other things so let's see that if switch i just wanted to say that Switch num equals to China, right? Let's see. I just wanted to see that switch num equals China data, right? So so I am able to see only China related data from switch num. So that is how we can run any query, any analysis, any any group by operation, whatever you want to do analytics based on real time data. You can go ahead and do that one. Uh, till that stream is happening and this is what i wanted to cover in this video thank you very much